I told you I'd be back. Six years ago, I asked you to send me a Senate colleague who would help me make a difference in Washington. And boy, did you. You gave me a colleague in the United States Senate who did our state proud and does our nation proud. In just a few days, Illinois is going to have another chance to elect a United States Senator to stand by me and to work with me. I want you to elect a person who will double my votes, not cancel my votes, a person who will stand up for the values that we all believe make America and Illinois a better place. I want you to join me in electing as the next United States Senator from Illinois, Alexi Janulius. How's everybody doing? I'm sorry to keep everyone waiting. My helicopter uh, was hovering. Uh, I want to thank you all for being here. It's great to see uh, so many supporters. I am not Obama. Uh, he's a little better looking than I am. Uh, it's great to see so many friends and supporters, and I want to take a, a second. Um, I want to take a second to thank the finest senator in the United States of America, <laughs> Senator Dick Durbin. Someone who has not just been a great friend, a great supporter, uh, but someone who it would be the honor of my life to serve in the United States Senate with. Uh, thank you, Senator, for everything you do for this great state. Thank you for everything you do for this country. Let's have a round of applause for Senator Dick Durbin. In just 26 days, voters across Illinois will head to the polls and cast a ballot that will say a lot about where we are headed as a nation. And this race for the United States Senate is bigger than me, it's bigger than President Obama. This is a race about the future of the United States. At this seminal moment in this country's history, which path will we choose as a nation? Will we go back to the short-sighted, reckless, greedy economic policies that have brought this country to its knees? Or will we leap forward with a renewed commitment to economic opportunity for everyone? Are we going to send people to Washington, D.C. to get things done, or will we elect those whose only objective is to obstruct and deny the achievements of the other party? Will we elect leaders who bring a new energy and commitment to spurring economic growth and giving small businesses the incentives they need to start hiring again? Or will we send more typical Washington politicians who have forgotten how tough it is out there for too many struggling Americans? That that is what this election is all about. And that is why it is critically important that we send someone to Washington, D.C., who will work with Senator Durbin and President Obama to move this great country forward. If I, if I am fortunate enough to join them, we will work harder than ever, together, together, to fix the mess handed down to us after eight years of Bush-Kirk economic policy that doubled our national debt, cost millions of hard-working Americans their jobs, and destroyed the American middle class. As your next United States Senator, I will fight every day to help turn this economy around and create the next generation of private sector jobs right here in Illinois. That means jobs that can't be outsourced. It means incentives and targeted tax cuts for businesses to create jobs right here at home. It means finally fast-tracking a clean energy agenda so that we end our addiction to oil, rescue a plan in peril, and create the next generation of green jobs. It means protecting consumers. It means protecting consumers from the excess and recklessness of Wall Street. It means creating an immigration system that makes sense, and it means fighting for equal rights for all Americans, not just when it's easy, and when it's convenient, but especially in, the face, especially in the face of political pressure. It means bringing fresh principal leadership and new ideas 
to the D.C. culture that my opponent is ingrained in, my opponent who's forgotten, unfortunately, how tough it is out there for families that are just trying to pay their bills. But I need your help to get there. I am proud to be the first candidate for the Senate in Illinois history not to take money from federal lobbyists and corporate PACs, because the only way because the only way to get out of this mess is to break the grip of the special interests. My opponent is one of the most prolific special interest fundraisers in the history of the United States Congress, because he takes their money and votes their way every single time. And now, after Congressman Kirk helped Karl Rove wreck this economy, well, Karl Rove is repaying the favor with millions of dollars in false attack ads. You see, Congressman Kirk is not part of the problem in Washington, D.C. He is the problem. And so, and so, with just over three weeks to go in this pivotal election, a choice will be made. Will we change the way things are done in Washington, D.C.? Will both parties try to work together to craft a true vision for this country's future? Will we help this president lead us forward? Will we inspire the next generation of leaders to step up, to stand up, and to lead? Will we successfully write the next great chapter in America's amazing story, a chapter that we can look back on with tremendous pride and say that we were a part of? Will we fight for families that right now, right now, are hanging on just by a thread and are fighting just to survive? 